Welcome to the Palace of Parliament. As I was saying, my name is Raluca and I will be your guide for today's tour. We are in a historical edifice uh, placed in the very heart uh, of, uh, of Bucharest. Uh, this building is the, in uh, the Guinness Book of Records on the second place after uh, Pentagon. Uh, with um, uh, 365,000 square meters and on the third place um, um, after Cape Canaveral in Florida and Castle Cold Pyramid in Mexico with a total uh, uh, volume of 2,550,000 uh, cubic meters. And uh, um, I must uh, point out the fact that all the materials used in, uh, in this palace were, uh, uh, are genuine uh, Romanian. We can talk about uh, 1 million cubic meters of marble, 900,000 uh, cubic meters of wood essences, and uh, also uh, 3,500 tons of uh, Mediash crystal, a crystal from which they made more or less 2,800 uh, lamps and chandeliers. <laughs> This is the unification hall. It was supposed to be the ballroom of, uh, of the building at the highest level. We are talking about presidents, but not only. Uh, it is the largest one in the building with 2,200 square meters. It is not uh, the highest one. We will see that one uh, a little bit uh, later. And uh, from the point of view of the internal design, we are talking about one central nave of 16 meters two lateral ones of uh, 12 meters uh, and a half, separated by these columns, uh, which have Corinthian capitals and Romanian decoration on, uh, on the uh, column, they are called flutes. Uh, in this uh, hall we can also see that beautiful skylight, um, all the metallic elements are made of brass and covered with uh, the industrial uh, gold, as well as all the stucco elements. This is the um, main lobby of, uh, of the entrance, and we can see over there those monumental uh, stairways uh, covered, uh, of course, in, uh, in marble that comes from Rushkitsa. I also wanted to point out that we have those curtains uh, made in, um, in uh, brocard technique. Uh, they are on velvet structure and uh, they are the highest in the building with uh, 16 meters. And uh, in total, the four of them, the two over there and the two over there, weight one ton. They were handmade by, uh, um, by the nuns uh, also from Agapia Monastery. I told you that they tried to respect and they uh, respected, in fact, um, a symmetry between elements. Now we can see the same pattern on, uh, on this carpet. Uh, this is a machine-made carpet. In total, they used 220,000 square meters of carpets. And, uh, and uh, I was saying that the same pattern can be found here, but also on the masks and on the ceiling. It is a cased uh, um, a ceiling. Uh, it is a ceiling made of, uh, of several cases, dominated uh, by these uh, chandeliers. So this is Nikolai Yorga Hall. It is a conference hall also. Uh, it is uh, one um, uh, hall, uh, one uh, of uh, the smallest uh, halls on the representation uh, part of the building. It is decorated in a neo-Renaissance Germanic style and resembles a lot to the uh, rooms in Palace Castle, the summer residence of Carol I, of course, Romania first uh, king. This is the Human Rights Hall. Um, it was supposed to host uh, the, the meetings of, uh, of the Communist uh, Party, therefore we have 60 chairs over here. Uh, one for each leader of, uh, of the party, and uh, uh, they intended to make another one, a bigger one, with golden and silver threads and embroideries um, uh, for, uh, for the president, and to put it over there, and on the panel wall, uh, they, it is opened again, they intended to, to hang the map of Romania. This is the second largest uh, chandelier in the building that weighs two tons. We are in a 1,200 seats capacity hall. It is the second largest in the building with 2,040 square meters, but it's the highest one in the building with 19 meters. 
On the ceiling, we can see another time uh, um, a skylight. It is uh, separated in seven cases. And of course, uh, it is artificially illuminated. I will invite you to join me here at this window that looks out on the uh, eastern side of the building. And uh, uh, you can see from here the Unification Boulevard, a boulevard which they say is longer and wider than Champs Elysees in Paris and uh, that contains 41 fountains, uh, which uh, each one represent one town. And uh, the one in the middle represents Bucharest. 